Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you, all of those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Ask your prayers. And we ask that you uh, prepare yourselves to receive whatever God has for you. Amen. Come expecting to receive. Amen. Amen. Don't just come like, there's nothing for me. If there's nothing for me, it's because you're not putting anything. Right. Okay? Right. You know, come empty, Lord. <laughs> empty myself so that you can fill me. I yeah. empty myself of myself yeah. so that you can come and fill yeah. me yeah. with yeah. all of you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, that was for somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So anyway, bienvenidos a todos los que nos sea a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Yes. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And he's got lots for you. Amen. Tiene mucho, mucho, mucho para usted. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Nos quiere bendecir, nos anima, nos cambia y nos corrige. Amen. So we have to do our part. We're going to yeah. do like a part two and we're going to do some reviewing on... Uh, yeah. on uh, Facing your giants on a daily basis, amen. And uh, your giants are different than mine, yeah. But that's okay, you know, you got giants, and David shows us, amen. And we're going to review some, yes. but uh, there's giants out there, yeah. uh, for uh, confronting you on a daily basis, and you need to prepare yourselves, amen. If you're not prepared, guess what? <laughs> you ain't no match for the enemy. We say it like this, uh, part time Christians, no match. For a full-time endeavor. Right. Right. If you're not prepared, right. Amen. you ain't going anywhere. And you're going to fall. Amen. And that's not his fault. It's not God's fault. That's it's right. our fault. Right. Because we need to prepare ourselves. Right. He says, put on the whole armor of God. Or the full armor of God. Yeah. Not just part of it. That's but right. all of it. Amen. Of it. I was military for a long time. And I guarantee you, I got inspected. And I wore my uniform daily. Amen. Right. And I wore all my uniform and I was evaluated on my uniform. If I didn't have a full uniform, I was reprimanded. Oh, yeah. And I was told, you're out of uniform. And you go and you put your uniform on. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, if you're out there and you're only full dress and don't have the armor of God, you need to put your Amen. full armor yes. on. Because yes. the enemy knows. Because you're leaking information. Yeah. You know, you're not confessing the word of God. You're confessing uh -huh. negative things. That's right. it. And he knows and he's going to come eat your lunch quick. Yeah. All right. I don't know who needed that, but you got it now. Grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. Prepare yourselves to, to <laughs> prepare yourselves. Period. <laughs> amen. Here's the soldier of God is stays ready. Yeah. Yes. Amen. A soldier of God is battle ready all the time. All the time. And you know what? When you hit the battle is when you hit the door. <laughs> when you wake up, when you open your yeah. eyes, get Before. ready for battle. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Grab your sword. And let's say it like a minute. Yes. That's a declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Listen, your mind needs to be alert. You know, your mind needs to be focused because the battlefield is the mind. Yes. And if you don't renew your mind with the uh -huh. word of God, the enemy will infiltrate. The enemy will come in. There's going to be so many distractions, so many things happening. And he's going to creep in. Right. And if you're not confessed, and if you're not fully dressed uh -huh. with his armor, he's going to come in because you're going to leak information. Yeah. You're going to confess the wrong things. Man, this <laughs> confession is it. If you're not confessing his word, you're conf confessing something negative. Yeah. And you're opening the door for the enemy to come, mm -hmm. to come in. Yeah. Jesus has defeated the enemy. And we fight a defeated enemy. But if yeah. you give him the right to come in, uh -huh. he's going to come in. Oh, yeah. And he's going to defeat you. Yeah. Amen. Because we need to be battle ready yes. and full of the word. Yes. When you're full of the word, you're confessing his authority. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you're walking in authority, man, you're battle ready for God. Yeah. Amen. That's what you got to do when you hit yeah. the door. That's what you got to do when you get up. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Before you, you cup of coffee. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> 
Hey man, I'm gonna say a few things here and I'm gonna read a couple of things to you. But um, speak faith filled words. Yeah. Or you speak, or you can say, confess. Yeah. Confess the word of God often. Confess the word of God daily. When you get the word in you, it's gonna come out. Yeah. And when it comes out, speak it out. Don't hold yeah. it back. Because when it comes out, authority comes out. Amen. Amen. And that's what put the enemy to run. It says confess yeah. your sins. I mean, uh, uh, submit yourself to God. Resist yeah. the devil and he will flee. He will flee. You know how, why he's going to flee? Because uh -huh. you're confessing his word. Yeah. And authority's coming out. And yeah. when he sees a soldier of God doing this, when he sees a child of God doing this, uh -huh. he's going to flee. Yeah. He wants to out of here. Okay? Yes. But anyway, speak faith-filled words. Mm -hmm. If we want to start seeing the power of God manifest in our lives, start paying attention to the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Guard your words. I wanted to say it so bad, and I could say it, and uh, I can say any bad words you can think of, but I hold my words. Yeah. I guard my words. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because it's not going to bless me. It's going to hurt me. And you need to do the same thing. Yes. Don't shoot it out just because you can shoot. Huh. Amen. You got to guard your words and speak your words mm -hmm. when God wants you to speak those yes. things and say the right things. Amen. If you're going to be victorious, if you want to live a victorious life, you must speak faith-filled words and declare what God says about your situation. Mm -hmm. What does God say about that situation? Mm -hmm. Are you confessing the right things? Yeah. Are you mag magnifying him or are you magnifying the problem, right. the situation? Yeah. Right. You're going to have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. God has defeated this. God has given me authority over this. Yeah. Why am I saying these things? Mm -hmm. we got to be battle ready. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Magnify God and not the situation. Declare you're an overcomer through him. You can do all things through Christ, yes. no matter what or how unqualified you feel. That's and right. you know what? <laughs> if you're not filled, you're going to feel unqualified. Uh -huh. That's right. The people's going to say it. Enemy uses people just like yeah. God uses people. Yeah. But are you, you submitted to him or are you submitted to the enemy? Mm -hmm. Either uh -huh. one, you're going to say it. You're going right. to do this. Amen. So the enemy uses people. And people are going to come up to you and be jealous of you and uh -huh. say, you know, negative things about you. Yeah. Yeah. Has negative things about you. Mm -hmm. And you gotta love them. <laughs> because God says to love yes. them. You gotta love the ungodly. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta love the unlovable. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got you have to forgive. Because yeah. he forgave. They yeah. crucified him without no sin. Uh -huh. And yet he spoke to the Father. He says, Father, before I come to you, yeah. I want to just forgive him. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. And he, he Father forgave him. Amen. Because of what Jesus did and what Jesus said. So praise God. Mm -hmm. No matter how unqualified you feel, uh -huh. Jesus promised to strengthen and enable you. Yes, he did. Anyone can be positive when things are going well. No, when yeah. things are going well, you know, everything's hunky dory. <laughs> everything's uh -huh. fine. Yeah. No, no problems. But guess what? There's coming a time when. Problems is going to hit the road. And what are you going to do now? Amen. Anyone can be positive when things are going well. But the way you respond when trouble comes will make you or break you. What you say in the midst of your difficulties will have a direct impact on the outcome. Don't look at the facts with, uh, uh, of your situations. Look at the truth of what the Word of God says. Declare his truth over your situation mm -hmm. until the fact lines up with the word of God. Right. Your body may be telling you something, but guess what? I'm going to say it on what the word of God says. By his stripes, I'm healed. Amen. I speak healing over this body. Yeah. Yes, it's aging. Yes, things are happening. Yes, I have feelings. But still, I'm going to confess what the word of God says. Or I'm going to confess the word of God over what situation is coming against you. And that's going to be giant, those giant problems coming against you if you're a child of god these things will come oh, yes. amen but you got to be ready i'm ready i'm ready for them mm -hmm. you know well we'll get there in a second <laughs> yes, 
declares truth over your situation until the fact lines up with the word of God. Uh -huh. Make the decision daily to speak faith-filled words over your situation. Yeah. And you will make it through each and every day victoriously. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. That was for somebody. I receive it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. Amen. <laughs> oh, praise God. And uh, I have another little handout here. Uh, it says this. Believers. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> We're believers. It says believers just believers don't just read the word. Believers don't just talk the word. Uh -huh. Believers live the word amen. Amen. amen we walk by faith and not by sight right amen so we just read we don't don't just read or talk it we live it yeah amen a lot of us are real good at reading yeah. <laughs> a lot of us are real good at, at talking mm. but are you living it yeah even the enemy knows yes amen god knows already but the enemy knows why because the wrong things are coming out of your mouth and you're doing the wrong things and you're hanging out in the wrong places yeah so you have to be careful yeah Woo, i don't know lord or bless me i don't know about you amen do you, you want to be blessed <laughs> seek the blessing or not just the blessings amen? yes he blesses us and we get involved with just following the blessings mm -hmm. and forget about him mm. let's not do that so anyway uh praise god Facing your giants. Just quick review. Jesus has already defeated the enemy. You need to know this. On a daily basis. You're fighting a defeated foe. Yeah. As a soldier. When I was military. We know we have an enemy. Who's your enemy? You know. Your enemy. Spiritually. Is the devil. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Not your neighbor. Right. Not, not your family. Right. But the enemy. Is your enemy. Amen. That's the only enemy you have. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. But Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Yes. Amen. So as we confess his word, as you speak his word, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the report of the Lord? Or are you going to believe what the world is saying? Are you going to believe what the person is saying? What the doctor is saying? Or whoever is saying whatever? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna stand on your word, Lord. Yes, if I'm gonna yes, make yes. a stand, I'm gonna make a stand on the word of God. Yes. Lord, Lord, I'm standing on your word. Now I'm not gonna move. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Woo, man! Just quick, quick reviews. Yes. Amen. James four seven. Therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. First Peter five seven says, "Casting all cares yes. or all care on Him." Yes. Because why? Because He cares for you. Yes. The NIV, the uh, New Living Translation says, Giving all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Right. Amen. Cares are coming. Cares are going to be here yeah. as long as you live. Uh -huh. But what are you doing about it? Amen. Yeah. He says, cast it on Him. Cast it on give, him. give it to Him. Hallelujah. Woo. Man, I am, I am ready. David teaches us about facing your giants. Mm -hmm. David went to bring lunch to his brothers. <laughs> and nobody's talking about God until David shows up. Yeah. Nobody's talking about God mm -hmm. until you show up in the scene. <laughs> they were yeah. talking something else. Yeah. You know, <laughs> do people hush when they see you coming? <laughs> oh, pastor's here. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Brother, brother's here. Oh, Got it. Change. Yeah. David talked about his God when he shows up because nobody else was talking about him. Amen. Whose report are you going to believe? We talked about the, the 12 spies. God says, send 12 spies. Leaders in, in, their, in their tribes. And 10 came back with a negative report. Right. 2 came back with right. a positive report. Amen. What is your report? Amen. Is your report positive or is your report negative? Say, wow, you know, there's giants in the land. We ain't no match for them. Well, you don't know. My God is bigger than anything that can come against us. Amen. My God is bigger than anything facing you. Amen. Remember this. Hey, we're a little church. Yeah, but we have a great God. Amen. When you have an attitude like that, guess what? 
We're going to touch places. We're going to touch things. Amen. And things are going to happen. Why? Because we're depending on our big God. Right. Now say, well, you know, people look down on you because you're a little church. Or maybe people look down at you because you're just one person. But you don't know who's backing me. When you know who's backing you, David knew. He saw the giant. He said, that's nobody. That's nothing. You know, compared to my God, he says, he's seen me. He yeah. says, when the, when, the, when the lion came, when the uh, bear came, my God saw me through. And you know, you got a testimony that says, you know, hey, I was lost, but now I'm found. Hey, I'm a yeah. new creature in Christ. Ooh, I can Lord. do all things yeah. through Christ who strengthens me. Whatever your situation may be, he says, you know what? Nothing bigger than my God. That's your attitude should be. Nothing is bigger than my God. I don't care what you're facing. Amen. Yeah, God yeah. can turn it around. Lord, God can make it right. Amen. God yeah. can make it little. God can make it go away. Amen. Yes. God can heal you. Whatever yes. you're facing. Amen. I just yes. speak the Lord touch and and and, and blesses you. Amen. <laughs> the people around you. What kind of report are they confessing? Uh -huh. Positive or negative. Make sure yeah. that you don't let that get into you. That's it. Amen. The main, main thing you want to do is, if you hear it, let it go. Uh -huh. You hear it, delete it. Say, no, I don't receive that for me. I don't receive that for my spouse. I don't receive that for my family. Right. I don't receive that, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I'm not it. taking it. But well, you That's know it. what? Everything that comes wants to attach itself to you. Uh -huh. You just drive uh -huh. down the road in your vehicle, brand new, washed vehicle, and there'd be all kinds of little things attach themselves to it. We got to give ourselves a spiritual bath daily and clean ourselves, cleanse ourselves, as renew your mind daily. Because all these things are going to try to come in and attach themselves to you. And you got to get them off. I say, uh uh, you're not attaching yourself to me. This is not me. This is not part of me. I'm getting rid of it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory. They faced giant walls that came down. And their God was bigger than these giant walls of Jericho. Amen. Hallelujah. David, Joshua, Caleb, we should know that facing our giants should point us to God. He is our answer and our giant our giant uh, strugglers. He's God over whatever giants are struggling you. Amen. He's bigger. He's bigger. Amen. Amen. So what odds are against you? Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. David knew he had already been tested by the lion and the bear. Amen. The world brings giant problems, but no problem is bigger than your God. This is what I want you to grab. Nothing. Whatever is facing you, whatever is coming against you is bigger than your God. But you have to have relationship daily with him. Spend time with him. Build yourself up in Him before you face the world. Because if you you don't, the world is going to have you. The world is going to knock you down. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Glory. Listen to this. <laughs> David knew. And God has already seen him through these. He slung the rock or the word like a missile into your child. Are you taking the word of God and slinging it like David did into whatever problem is facing you? Amen. That's what we need to do. The challenge of the day was this. The giant says, This day I defy the ranks of the uh, ranks of Israel. Give me a man and let us fight each other. Yes. That's what the world says. Say, bring it on. What you got? Amen. You got to have more than what the world has. Amen. Amen. You got to be ready because the world will eat you and spit you out. Oh, oh yeah. Amen. Amen. Our Goliath doesn't carry swords or shields or wear armor. Our Goliath comes like this. Unemployment, abandonment, All abuse, right. alcohol, uh -huh. COVID-19, mm -hmm. sickness, no depression, on, failures, right. setbacks. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yes. That's what that's your giants facing mm -hmm. yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen. And you can overcome these. Amen. You can overcome this. Mm -hmm. Your giants doesn't uh, parade up and down the hills. They <laughs> prance through your office, your home, your classrooms, yeah. wherever you happen to be. Exactly. Right. Amen. And you see them daily. Mm -hmm. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He brings bills you can't pay, grades you can't make, people you can't please, no. whiskeys that you can't resist, 
pornography you can't refuse, a career you can't escape, a past you can't shake, and a future that you can't face. Amen. But if you don't have God, these things are staring at you. Right. Amen. You're already defeated. You don't, what am I going to do? Well, you're going to turn to God and make a stand and say, hey, I know who's backing me. I know my God. And my God is bigger than any mountain, any problem, mm -hmm. any storms coming against me. Anything yes. I'm facing. And when you know that, guess what? He's backing you. Yes, he He's is. right there. And uh, you're going to make that stand. Woo. So, to hear from God daily, what do I do? I feed on His Word. Yes. Remember, we're tri-being. Don't forget this. We're tri-being. We're a spirit. We have a soul, which is your mind, will, and emotions. And we live in a body. And this body, the Bible says, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So we got to take it, still got to take care of it. Amen? Yes, we do. So feed on the Word. Feed your, your, feed, feed your spirit the Word of God. Yes. Feed, renew your mind with the Word of God and crucify the flesh. Yes. The flesh just wants to cruise. The flesh just wants to be easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> it just wants to sit. Right. It just wants to be neutral. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you're feeding your spirit and you're renewing your mind, mm -hmm. flesh has to come. Say, come yes. on. You're coming with us. Yes, yes. You ain't staying down here. You have to come with, with three beings. All okay? right. So they take care of each other. Crucify the flesh. Mm -hmm. Speak faith-filled words, yeah, not yeah. fear-filled words. Right, right. Amen. Words are powerful. Yes, they are. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. So you have to remember this. We just don't throw words around. That's right. Amen. Because words are carriers of yes. life or death. That's right. Positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Man. Glory. <laughs> Have a relationship with him. Speak yes. to him. Speak about him. Mm -hmm. Speak to your giants. The word of God. Do you speak to your giants or do your giants speak to you? Oh, boy. Say, oh man, I'm getting out of here. They're telling mm -hmm. me this. And this is what I heard. No, mm -hmm. I'm not backing down. That's right. I don't care how little you are. Yes. yes. Amen. You might be a, a, a new new Christian, but still, mm -hmm. you have a big God. Yes. Yeah. It has nothing to do with with how much you know. You you're great. You getting to know, and you study to show yourself uh -huh. a grow. But still, even as a, a baby Christian, you have a mighty God. Hey. And we have to remember this. We don't have to just earn our ways up oh, right. as soon as you confess him as your lord and savior uh -huh. he is yours yes. yes and you're his and yes. you can say lord i need your help and guess yes. what yeah. he's right there amen he said he never leaves you nor forsakes you yeah. he's always with us always amen with us. Ooh, praise god yeah. <laughs> david shows up and he talks about god they're yeah. talking about the problem they're talking about the giant Amen. If you if you notice, when you walk up to wherever you go, there's always, did you hear the latest news? <laughs> did you hear the latest bad news? Did you hear the latest bad report? Man, they stay on top of that. Say, yeah, I heard that, you know, but my God is bigger. Mm -hmm. Really, oh man, you're always saying those things. Yeah? Because that's what I, I'm confessing, and that's what I believe. Yes. Yes. They believe in the world, so they're going to confess the, ba the bad things. I'm going to confess the good things. Amen. Amen. <laughs> David made an announcement. It says, the Lord who delivered me from the power of the lion and, and the power mm -hmm. of the bear will deliver me from this Philistine. Yes. So whatever giant you're facing, the, the same God is going to deliver you yes. like he delivered David. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Woo, Amen. Come on now. Glory. <laughs> Amen. So we gotta stay God focused yes. and not giant focused. Mm -hmm. We gotta stay God focused and not problem focused. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Man, the battle belongs to Him, but you gotta yes. give it to Him. Yes, it does. You know, I tell you all the time. You know, when you take your dump, you, you, your trash to the dumpster, uh, you leave it there. You never take it back. So why it. you take it out anyway? Amen. <laughs> if you're gonna pray, don't worry. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna worry, why pray? Why pray? Right. But if you dump your trash in there, leave it there. Yeah. You take it to the cross yeah. and leave it at the cross. Don't take it back. Say, well, you know, you need help. You know, you haven't answered me. So obviously, you're not paying attention to me. No, you leave it there and you have faith and you trust. 
His timing will take over, okay? His, in, his, in His due time. So the battle belongs to the Lord. David's brothers, listen. <laughs> David brought him to lunch. He heard, he's talking about God and here's a giant. And he says, I'll fight him. I'll take him on. David's brother covered her eyes in fear and embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. What's wrong with this guy? Mm -hmm. He's not my brother. <laughs> and Saul says what? Oh man. He says, as young David races to his death. That's what they see. They see yeah. David running to his death. Mm -hmm. I'm running to victory. Yeah. I'm running yeah. at my giants, not yes. from the giants. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I put the giants to run. They don't mm -hmm. put me to run. Yeah. Yeah. Goliath throws his head back and he laughs. He says, man, is this all you can send? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. So David stopped when the giant uh, laughs and he goes back, you know. Mm -hmm. He opens up for that slingshot mm -hmm. rock to hit him right between the forehead. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that stone torpedo right into his skull. Huh. <laughs> and the giant fell and David goes and takes his sheath and cuts his head off. That's what we need to do to our giants. Yes. Just cut yes. their head off. That's it. You're not gonna you're not gonna happen in my That's right. right. You're not gonna happen now. It ain't mm -hmm. gonna happen. When David knew how to get ahead of his <laughs> Giant. Get it? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know how to get ahead of our giants, amen. With the word of God. Amen. David knew. Amen. So he went and he cut it out. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. So when was the last time you did the same? How long since you ran towards your challenges? Yeah. Amen. I know I, they keep me on the run. Used to. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we tend to retreat, hide behind a desk or work or crawl uh -huh. into a nightclub for a full distraction of bad uh -huh. and forbidden no goods. We don't have to hide anymore. Yeah, we don't have right. to drink our problem away Amen. because guess what? It's still going to be there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That moment, a day or a year, we feel safe. But when the work runs out, the liquor wears off, or the lower <laughs> leave, the, the lover leaves, mm -hmm. we hear the lie of the giant again, boom. Okay. I'm here. I uh, went nowhere. I'm still here. He's still here, huh? No. We're going to speak the word and he's going to go. He's going to yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Try a different approach. Russian giant. Being God focused, magnify God and minimize your giants. Seek the word of God. Uh, speak the word of God to your giants. I can't say that enough. Your giants of depression, your giants of sickness, your giants of death. Amen. Your giants of sickness, I resist you in the name of Jesus. Your giants of death, leave in the name of Jesus. Your giants of depression, I don't receive you. Amen. Just say, you won't conquer me because I am more than a conqueror. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Giants of alcohol, bigotry, abuse, insecurities, you're coming down. Amen. Amen. You're coming down just like the walls of Jericho. You know what they said about the walls of Jericho? Oh, yeah. They couldn't be taken down. Man, the way they built Nothing can take them down. No. Hey, that's what they say about the Red Sea. <laughs> God said, well, are you going to build a bridge over there? Right. How are you going to get us to the other side? How are you going to get us away from this army? <laughs> God, part of the sea. Praise God. Is anything too big for God? No. 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 <laughs> How long since you unloaded a sling and took a swing at your giant? You know what giant needs mm -hmm. it needs to come down yes. amen from in your life you need to change use your authority you yeah. want things to change mm -hmm. confess the word yeah. use your authority that's going to yeah. change it's been this way mm -hmm. but it's going to change right no mas it's not going to be that way anymore right. you know it's been this way for generations mm -hmm. well guess what the giant stops here right. <laughs> it stops right here no mas it's mm -hmm. not going to happen anymore it's going to stop why? Because I'm going to confess the word over there. Mm -hmm. What did God see in David? Mm -hmm. David filled as often as he stood. 
He stumbled as often as he conquered. Mm -hmm. He stared down the giant and he stared and failed to <clears throat> receive her. He could lead armies, but he couldn't manage his own uh, family. Right. Raging David, weeping David, bloodthirsty David, yeah. and God thirsty David. That's 13.22 says, after removing Saul, he made David their king. Mm -hmm. God testified concerning him. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Yeah. He will do everything I want him to do. Uh -huh. This is God. Yeah. He says, he's after my heart. Mm -hmm. God knows. Yes. But we got to stay focused on it. Yes, we do. we got to stay connected to it. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's called relationship. Yes. Amen. Don't leave him. He said, he said I'm never leaving or forsake you. That's right. If we start seeing problems and we start wandering off to different, in different directions. Mm -hmm. This one says, Act 13.22 uh, reminds us. That they, uh, God said that David was a man after God's own heart. Uh -huh. A man after God's own heart that God saw him as such. It gives us all hope. Right? Mm -hmm. Amen. This is the way I used to be. And people are going to see you that way. Mm -hmm. Because they're walking by sight yes. and not by faith. That's yes. right. And they see you, a physical person mm -hmm. and they see you and they remember all the past and all the bad amen mm -hmm. but god says you and your creature in christ yes the old is gone the new is in yes you had a spiritual birth mm -hmm. inside spiritual birth mm -hmm. no one they can't see no one can see your spirit except for god mm -hmm. you had a spiritual birth inside hey, you yeah. changed inside Lord, and yeah. god says Old is out, new is yes, in. Amen. So spiritually, I see you a new person. Mm -hmm. So get busy for God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start doing. He says, I put you on a mission. Mm -hmm. I called you. I anointed you. And I equipped you. So now I had a spiritual birth. So now I'm going to get busy and do what God has called me to do. Yeah. And nothing's going to stop me except me. Yeah. So don't stop yourself. I can do all things through Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens me. Yes. See, this is what we need to stay focused on because the enemy is going to bring yeah. distractions. He's going to bring yes, people. Yeah. going to bring family. He's going to bring friends. going to bring all kinds of things at you to try to yeah. sidetrack you. Mm -hmm. But stay focused. God focused. Yes. Amen. That's what it says. Stay God focused. God focused. Amen. David's life has little to offer the unstained saints. The rest of us find it a reassuring because we ride the same roller coaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the same thing daily. Mm -hmm. We ride that same roller coaster, but we got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. Amen. In David good moment, in David good small goods, in David's good moments, mm -hmm. no one was better. In his bad moments, no one could be worse. No. The hard God loved was a checkered one. Mm -hmm. We need David's story, yes. a great testimony for us. Yes. Say, hey, if God can do that for David, he'll do yeah. it for me. That's right. He's no respect of persons. That's right. Amen. He called you and yeah. he's equipped you. Yeah. Amen. So he can do those things for us yes, also. Yeah. Remember, God is not looking for perfect people. That's right. He's looking for committed mm -hmm. and available, available. people. When you see yourself that way, mm -hmm. you know you know that God has called me, mm -hmm. and I am able to do all things through Him. Yes. If God called me, I don't have to be a people pleaser, a world pleaser. I can be a God pleaser, Amen. and I can still do what He's called me to do. Amen. Ooh, Come on, yeah, man. Somebody yeah, needed that. <laughs> Giants that hung out in our neighborhoods. Religion, failures, revenge, remorse, fears, oh, regrets, sorrows, guilts, and shames. Mm -hmm. We must face them. Yet yeah. we don't have to face them alone. Right. We can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yeah. And as I said, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. The prodigal son left. But he said, if I go back to Father's house. Mm -hmm. And the father was expecting him back. Mm -hmm. Every day he went to look. Mm -hmm. Father's expecting you. 
you've been gone from God for a long time. Oh, boy. Amen. And it's time to come home. Amen. It's time to say, Father, I need you. Hey, I've sinned against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. Come home to Father. Amen. Wherever you are, you know who you are. Yes. Praise God. Amen. It's time to come back to Father. I don't care who's told you. No way. You can't. Yes, you can. The yes. Bible says you can do all things to all Christ. Things. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. So be focused. Amen. Focus first and most on God. The times David did, giants fell. Mm -hmm. The day he was unfocused, mm -hmm. he fell. Yeah. If we're God focused, we won't fall. But if we take our eyes off of God, we will fall. Amen. So on a daily basis, focus on Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Focus on Him. And we're going to stop right there. Yeah. And we're going to pick it up with focus on God and not the giants. Amen. Focus on God and not the giants because the giants will always be there. Amen. But you can have victory over this giant yes. on a daily basis. Yes, you can. Amen. And the best thing to do is to face him with God and yeah. not without God. Right. Amen. Right. So praise God because his word says that we can do all things all through things. him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. So praise God. Amen. So um, I just wanted to say this. We don't want to close without giving you an opportunity. That's right. Amen. To receive yeah. Jesus, your Lord and Savior. If this is the first time, I don't care how many times you did. You know, when I first came to Christ, I must have confessed it every time the pastor says something. Every time the speaker says something, I receive. And I still do. Amen. Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I can, you can say it on a daily basis if you want to. But you know, you've been away from God. Yes. And you feel like, I can't go anymore. Mm -hmm. God's forgotten about me. No, he hasn't. No, You've yeah. forgotten about God. That's right. But it's time to just confess and say, Lord, I, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And from this day on, start living for him. Listen, start living for him and start doing for him and being a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Mm -hmm. Woo! Prayers needed Lord. as a child of God. He is your redeemer. He is your provider. He's your healer. He's your everything. Yes. God loves you. Amen. God loves you. He wants to see you well. He wants to see you healed. Yes. So if you're hurting in any kind of way, mm -hmm. you can touch that part of your body. He says, lay hands on the sick and shall recover. Yes. I speak healing over you. Yes. The Bible says that by Jesus stripes, you are healed. Yes. He went to the cross. He took the stripes. So yes. we won't have to. So body, line up with the word of God. Yeah. And be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity, spirit of sickness, we command you to leave in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. That's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And we command that sickness to go in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God loves you. We love you. Press on with Him. He wants to see you finish what He's put in you. Amen. He wants to see you complete yes. what He's called you to do yes. amen so praise god and uh i think uh miss carmen is uh got this on the screen here it's time to give you're watching or listening and we'd like to give your time your offerings you can still do that just go to our website nbcbigben.com and hit the donate button thank you brother or if you mail it to nbc po box 252 yes. mark texas 79843 Amen. And we want to thank you in Jesus' name. God loves you and we love you. Praise God.